Hey everyone, I decided to bring back an old series I haven't done in a while, and that series is Nitric Stories. Basically, I tell stories that happen in my life. This is something that I wanted to do because of a channel that I usually, or sometimes occasionally, watch, known as Bruce Do. So out of all the things I felt like talking about, I just rather talk about stuff that I find very disgusting that happened to me in my life that I couldn't control. It's like sex. You're with a person you don't want to do it with, and guess what? You did it anyway. You're freaking screwed, dude. But without further ado, let's do this. Number five. So around the time I was still in Florida, in the ages of 12 or 13, I was walking with my sister one day, you know, because usually where we lived, that's all we did. We had to walk to wherever we want to go to, from Taco Bell to McDonald's to GameStop to Starbucks, any place like that. We have to walk to the largest block ever on Fletcher. And let me tell you, that walk is not nice. Well, anyways, this is not about a walk. This is what happened during the walk. So as we were walking close to Taco Bell, all of a sudden we looked down and we saw a dead bird with no head, which is ants crawling inside of it. I was like so disgusted. I was like, oh God. You wanna know how long that bird sat there? It sat there for almost nearly two and a half weeks. And no one done anything to pick it up. And every time we came back, it just looked more and more decayed. And then one day I finally saw it and I was like, oh, thank God. Because every time I walked, I had to walk behind my sister. Not because I was scared of the bird. No, I walked behind her because I didn't want to touch it. It was nasty. Number four. As a preteen, from what I remembered, uh, I pretty much just play a lot of Jack X or some other stuff like that. Around this time, um, I was living on Hay Street in Wisconsin. And those were the days. Just sitting in my room, playing the PS2, you know, not worrying about what game's coming out, what game's gonna suck. No. I was just playing a game that came out a while ago, and I was enjoying myself. So as I'm sitting there with me, my cousin, and my uncle, or it was me and my uncle playing a game, and my cousin just sitting there as a spectator, and all of a sudden, somebody farts. It was not me. It wasn't my uncle. No, it was a spectator who just sat there and went, <laughs> and it smelled so horrible, I had to acknowledge it. But the way I acknowledged it is something you would not do Something that not a lot of people would say. So I literally looked at him and went, Prentice, no one wants to smell your chicken. Oh, shit. And then I stopped like, wait a minute. He cursed in front of the uncle. And then I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he just laughs. And then he literally took that as a joke. And he tells my mom, not as in, oh, kid, you shouldn't have cursed. No, he tells my mom as in, that's, that's the funniest thing I've ever said in my life. That's what my uncle does all the time. The whole point of this part of the story is not me just telling a story about me just saying something because my cousin farted. It's me feeling uncomfortable because my uncle literally walks around and thinks anything I do is funny. Like the time I was watching Forgetting Sarah Marshall, he comes out of nowhere and like, Kyle, you watching the ass? I'm like, no, I'm not! This is, this, you came at the wrong time! As a kid, you know, your childhood memories are like the greatest memories of your life. To so you, no matter how old you are, you will think back to that day. You will think, wow, that was fun. Now, if you're me, you're not going to have a lot of those. Because as you're me, you'll have a lot of things that you've seen that are weird. And things that you've seen that you shouldn't have saw in the first place. So, as a kid, I was playing Marvel Rise of the Nemesis Imperfects. It's a big freaking name. In which, it's a game where essentially all the enemies and all characters, that's Marvel based characters, curse for no good reason. <laughs> Look who just sprayed you with a can of whoop ass. What the hell were you thinking? You know what we call that? We call that a web slinging ass kicking. I hate doing that when it's so damn easy. What a great day for kicking ass. Now when it comes to this game, I'm a master at it. 
So, uh, speaking of being the master, at this time, I was beating up my, uh, my cousin Joe, who apparently was kind of bored at the time, so I'm sitting there, I'm playing the game with him, I'm beating his butt on an old school Xbox, and he's sitting there like, oh, oh, damn. And then as I won like eight times in a row, this man gives up, leaves the room, and then I decided, no, screw him. I'm, I'm gonna go watch some TV. So I went to go watch some TV in my uh, living room, and all of a sudden I hear, poof, uh, poof, uh, and I'm sitting there like, what the hell is that noise? About to beat my meat. <laughs> About to beat my meat. <laughs> About to beat my meat. <laughs> So I get up and my big sister comes to investigate what that noise was. And then all of a sudden, um, I basically see what sex is. Now don't worry. Luckily as a kid, I didn't see them being naked. No, no. I saw him in some covers with his girlfriend underneath. And I sat there and what we do? We bolted. We left. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. This shit, I'm out. We like literally left that whole area, and we decided not to talk about it. The funny part about it is that when I was a kid, and at that time, when my mom and them came back, I literally snapped at them like, "Why did you leave us here with them? You shouldn't have done this to us." Oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. Okay, for this part of the story, this is something that I did. No one else did this, just something I did. But I'm reflecting on it now and I felt it was pretty gross because this is something that I did as a kid. So now, just to uh, hide my brother's uh, bro's namesake. So there was a guy named Ice, there was a guy that was named Dre, and then there was a guy named Lil John. Now, the main one you have to know is Dre. So, Dre basically was there playing around and stuff. I'm in the bathroom, I'm taking the number two, and I saw my brick in the toilet, and I thought, you know what would be funny? I should do this. So I grab a fork from the kitchen, and I, I stab the brick that I dropped, and I pretended to walk in the living room with it like it was steak. I didn't eat it or anything, don't worry about that. So then they all thought I had some steak and stuff, and I'm just sitting there because this this part of the joke, I thought, oh, maybe I should just trick them and make them think I have food. And at the last second, when, when Dre, Dre himself just looked at it, he was like, oh, he got some steak, let me get some. So then as he was about to try to bite my little brick, I literally went, it's Dookie, it's Dookie! And it was like, oh! Gary! You are gonna finish your dessert! And you are gonna like it! It's Larry. And then it hit the floor. The, the, the little brick just hit the floor. And I sat there and I was like, oh, oh no. Oh no, mom's gonna kill me. So, what was funny about this story is I don't know if this is true or not because I don't have a very good memory. I don't know if my cousin put me up to that or not, but to this day, we will never know. Number one. So if you guys haven't Christian belled already, you should try to be ready to Christian bell now because this part of the story is a little bit, not just weird, but so disgusting that you guys would not only question why would I do that, but this is something that happened, so learn to live with it. So alright, for this part of the story, there are a few people I want to label so that way you can understand who is who. So there's me, there's these little kids, or two little kids, one of them special, keep that in mind. Then there's my friend Dar. And then there are these two cute girls that sit next to us. And then there's this classroom. It looks like a college room, even though I, I'm not in college yet. So anyways, I'm sitting there like a regular everyday thing. 
my regular high school classes is simple gym music then english english again then art then civics and then art and then i go home so on this particular day i go in there with low expectations because it's it's music what do you, what do you gotta expect what to do so anyways i'm sitting there and then my friend dar was pointing out like hey um you should be aware of those two because those two if they answer some stuff i'm sitting there like no oh, what are you talking about so some hours go by the only reason i enjoy this class is because of the two cute girls that sit next to us and i'm like man those girls are cute so i was talking to my friend dar about something and then all of a sudden he's like guy look i stopped my sentence and i look and what do i see the one boy rubbing the special chick's butt hey that's fucking cute ah! the moment i saw that that black kid just touching that girl i literally just got up out of my seat in the middle of class while the teacher was teaching and screamed i am done i am done that is it i am done i'm going home i'm going to bed i literally just walked up the stairs and just literally walked off the classroom and then the teacher sat there and was like oh apparently kai's done and then my friend sat there laughing thinking it was funny and i'm sitting there like what is wrong with you that girl's mentally ill man why would you laugh and i was so disgusted that day i didn't even want to sit there the guy even who was touching the girl's butt was laughing i didn't think that was funny because that girl's mentally ill she wouldn't so that time i just decided to go home i was literally that much disgusted about it i literally like left school and everything i didn't even have an excuse i just left the building i just couldn't take it anymore I literally told my friend, man, listen, you need to go and find out what happened. I, I literally have the conversation of me and him after he gets out. And he does not do what I told him. So I sat there. I was like, why didn't you do what I just tell you? And I'm sitting there like pissed off like a, like a mad dad because the man didn't do what I just told him to go do. So to this day, I, I do not want to go back and I'm glad I'm done with school so that way I don't have to go through that situation ever again. Oh yeah, and before I stopped talking, um, I didn't tell anybody of his business because I didn't want to ruin the kid's life. Because I was being considerate and plus I was also trying to think how do you handle this situation. In the end, this one guy who sat next to us uh, told the lady that sat next to this girl and basically, you know, she got the whole thing straightened out. Alright, I wanted to thank you guys for, uh, well, those of you guys who stick around to the end of the video. I know it's a lot of weird stuff for you guys, to, for some of you guys to handle, but at least you got through it and I appreciate that. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this or even more other content that's not messed up at all. Maybe less messed up at all. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.